Hi, I'm Hamed from Krinek. If you're building a new product, especially something physical, like a machine, a device, uh, an IoT system, then at some point you are going to need a prototype. Actually, just not one, you probably need a few, and that's perfectly normal. So what is a prototype? Well, simply put, it's a version of your product that is built to test an idea, prove it works, and help you move forward with more confidence. It doesn't have to be pretty or final. It just has to help you learn something valuable. Now, even before we get to what people called a prototype, there is something often called a proof of concept. That is very early build. It might be rough from made from off the shelf parts or hacked together very quickly, but it shows that your core idea actually work, your core assumption. And it's like saying that, yeah, it's possible. And that is important because in the hardware development, things often looks great on paper, but behave very differently when you start building. A proof of concept gives you that early reality check. From there, you move on to prototypes, each one better, smarter, and closer to the real things. I'll talk more about different kind of prototype later, like alpha, beta, MVPs, and so on in our next videos. But for now, here's a big idea I wanted to leave with you. Making one prototype is never enough. Hardware development is an iterative process. You learn something from each version, improve the design, fix the issues, and test again and again. Every single prototype brings you one step closer to reliable, a manufacturable product. And that is why we love prototyping at Krenak. It's where ideas become real. It's where all learning happens. Over the next few weeks, I will share you uh, more about different type of prototypes, how to use them, why they matter, and how to make the most of each stage. And I'll show you some real example prototypes that we built along the way. So you can see what this process actually looks like. If you're working on something new and want to learn how prototyping can help you, stick around. And if you already started to build something, check out the link below to see if and how it can help you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.